Hello there, I'm the Star Wars Guy, and welcome back to the cantina of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We are in uh, one of my big accounts today. You guys keep asking to see some dailies and to get some account updates, so I am here for you to deliver. This is bullshit. This is unbelievable, guys. Blue Stacks has crashed on me no less than six times today. Someone forward them this video. Now let's all sit in a moment of silence while this boots back up. Hello there. Just kidding. We did that. Okay. We're not going to do GAC today. We're going to talk about what's been going on in this account. There's node 1A. Cool. Uh, so what we've been doing, uh, and actually it crashed earlier after I had already... Uh, film some stuff so you're not going to see that but i will tell you what we're doing and what i did uh we're working on two teams simultaneously kind of two and a half we're working on troopers because they're so good and i want to have them at least all relic three to five uh so we can just smash teams because they will kill anything and uh we of course have veer's relic now we're working on stark gideon piet and i suppose i should work on death trooper as well because he will be our fifth so here's the squad we're using here uh, sitting at about 91,000 power now, and I've convinced myself, let's go ahead and throw a Death Trooper in there. So we're working on gearing them up. And that's where our gear is going. Now, our shard farming. We're working on Bando, so that means we're working on all of the Mandalorian tunes. We have Grief 7 stars. We are farming him uh, because we don't care about him. I do want the Rebel Y-Wing, though. A valuable part of the rebel fleet it's actually in our starting lineup and it's not even seven stars so we're going to be farming him until that gets to where it needs to be great ship and the rebel fleet i mean the end game rebel fleet is is phenomenally fun looks like our boy uh reef needs an omega there how many do i have not enough actually just recently put a bunch of omegas on the jawas if you can believe it okay um so then we're working on mando ig11 quill Kara. Kara is the furthest behind. If we go to the journey guide, also we just crossed uh, 6 million GP, so congrats on that to me. Thank you. Just kidding. Okay, so if we go to Mando and we see the activity here, uh, it's a really cool event. You need different characters for each tier, so for this one we only need one character and that's Quill. So as soon as we have him 7 stars, we will be able to knock out tier 5. And I assume we will probably need Kara again, which is unfortunate. She's way behind. Um... IG-11 is still kind of a little bit behind as well. Mando, almost done. So Mando and Quill should be done soon. Uh, we're not doing too many refreshes on them or anything. Uh, we did actually, you missed it, just upgraded Piet to five stars uh, in the video that was lost uh, to the ether. Moment of silence. Okay. So what next? Uh, let's do some relic work. I'd like to get them. Like I said, I'm shooting for five. Let's shoot for five. I don't need a bunch of relic sevens. Let's just get them to five, see where we're at. And then for gear. So uh, let's get someone Stark here. Can we do it? Mm, 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 probably not. Oh, this one is fleet though. That's nice. I forgot. Pretty. And then we need some Carbontes on him as well. Saw that. We're out of Carbontes. They're usually in the stores though. Buy some of these. Carbontes, it seems. Uh, drop in stores more than just about anything else. There we go. Already at 38 now. Uh, oh, nice. And it's a challenge today. So let's go grab some more of those. And then we might actually refresh uh, the other node. And we could potentially, a little bit of luck here, upgrade uh, Stark to the next gear tier. Live on camera. How many do we need? I saw we got five there. That's pretty good. 47. So we should absolutely hit the Carbonti. There we go. Hit it with the last one, probably. One more. What am I doing? All right, let's head back into Stark. Check out Stark Industries here on the bottom left. We have 10. We need 
10. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oh, not like that we can't. We've already done some refreshes. I'm not doing 100 refresh though. I'm not that, not that desperate. So if it start asking for hundreds, yeah, we lost it, boys. We didn't get it. It's all your fault. Okay, uh, let's do a squad arena. Squad arena has been pretty fun in here. Getting a hang of the teams uh, that we're using here. Now we can smoke these uh, uh, slicker teams pretty handily. These teams can be a little more challenging. It's basically the same team we're running. Uh, we're running Jedi Knight Revan lead. I actually been enjoying her uh, his lead. Sometimes we'll swap JML out if we need to get, you know, like if we're fighting a Ray or something where we really need um, JML's ultimate. Because when he's not in the leader slot, you're you're not getting his ultimate, and it just it takes way too long. So we have Watt because he throws the protection on Jedi Master Luke, which basically makes him unkillable. And then uh, let's see, let's see if we can nuke Revan. So the other thing is, I try to put the weapon tech on Jedi Knight Luke. And it's kind of a hit or miss if we get to that point. Because sometimes, you know, Watt, they'll kill him pretty quick. Now, our Watt's Relic 5, so that's actually good. He's, he survives. Uh, when I first started playing uh, with him, he was gear 12. So he would not survive a lot. But now he's uh, Relic 5, I think. Relic 5 or 3. And he, uh, yeah, he hangs in there a little bit longer. Just long enough. We might be able to kill him right now, actually. Ah, no. Let's, uh, let's hang out here. Let's go for Thrawn. This is an interesting team cop under. There we go. Slicker. Usually you see, you know, the typical first order lineup. I think he's kind of doing himself a little bit of a disservice. Having Thrawn in there is nice. You just saw he fractured my JKL. But he won't be around for too long. He's gonna go. He's gonna go do his thing. That's all good. He'll kill a couple of us. He'll sit there for a minute. But we pretty much always win against the uh, the Kylos. The only time I generally lose is when it's a Relic Eight, and even then, it's less than half the time. So you see, even here, where you know we don't have the Jedi lessons or whatever, or uh, Jedi Master Luke, so he. He's not gonna get anywhere close to ultimate. Like, we're almost done here. Will he get another turn? If he gets another turn, 16%. The whole battle, he's at 16%. So I don't really worry about that too much. So the way you want to get to his ultimate is put him in the leader slot, use that extra move that they get, and just constantly use that move. And if we get another chance to play a battle with him, I'll show you what I mean. Now, Fleet, on the other hand, has been a, has been a blast in this account. We stay up near the top. with a uh, pretty pretty maxed out negotiator fleet. Now the problem when you're at the top up here is they're all maxed out negotiator fleet. So it's just a bunch of mirror matches pretty much. This one's obviously a little bit different. I actually wanna see if we can knock out that fives with, come on, some assisting. Tooth is so annoying. Let's get our own out here. How about that? There's the Millennium Falcon. Let's give that offense up to Anakin. Okay, all right. Let's get serious here. We do have the Relic 7 Jedi Knight Anakin, which is pretty awesome. Definitely helps uh, helps us ship out. All right, who we call in here? Let's let's go ahead and do the Embar and Starfighter as well. You see how these uh, we'll do that target lock attack. You see how these missions or these battles can get a little monotonous. There we go. We're wearing him down. Give me another move. We'll knock him out here. There he goes. Oh, still not quite. Cause that Y wing is not. Uh, not a strong damage dealer. Come on, come on, don't let him get that protection back up. Here we go, here we go. All right. Now they have their other taunt out here. We'll need to work on that Millennium Falcon as well. That means they're, that'll get Anakin, good. We can't defeat the Millennium Falcon, I don't think, until 
everyone else. Oh, we can. Okay. So uh, maybe that's just under the Rebel Fleet. I forget. I've never used the Millennium Falcon. Uh, not in this account. We have it on defense 99% of the time. Hang in there. Those bombs are going off now. Boom. All right. We're wrapping this up. That should be it. Oh, dazed. Dazed will do it. No counterattacks, no assists. Plo's on the field. We're gonna get a reinforcement out here, and we're gonna also put Plo on the field. How can you be in two places at once, my friend? Oh, what do we have here? I think we're good. Let's just do that. Work him down. Work him down. That's haunt back, buddy. Come on. Lost Anakin, right? Okay. Got on Rex then. There they go. Dude. Under stealth, passing that taunt. This thing is so annoying. He's awake. Here we go. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, they got more. Ahsoka has entered the space. Thought you left the Jedi Order, Missy. Get out of here. We don't need you. That should do it. Nice. All right, Ahsoka. That should do it right there. Still not quite. They're tough up here, people. There we go. Finally, that's a whew, long time, but we won. So we usually finish out the day, uh, yeah, in the in the top tens, you know, top five. Sometimes it just depends on when we get in there and do it. Let's run through these stores real quick. Make sure we do everything we need to do, and I will leave you guys to watch the next video. I always buy them. If I don't have them and they're in here on the accounts where I have a lot of credits, I just buy them. It has come in handy. In here, I just, I've kind of been hoarding this currency a bit. I haven't been using it too much, but I will go in here and do, you know, get some, get some shard shop currency. And then of course, you know, I'm farming that Coruscant Underworld Police. You know, I'm farming it. Now with Bodhi, I have something funny I'm doing. I'm not going to promote him. And I'm just going to see how high I can get this first number. Just for literally no reason. All right, we're looking good. Yep. All right, guys. Fun day in this one. It's not often we get to, uh, we get to conquer fleet on these accounts, huh? But we do today challenge it's zeta day my friends now we're not close unfortunately 13 well we're over halfway all right has it cooled down two minutes and three seconds so no not exactly thank you guys so much for being here with me i am the star wars guy please subscribe below for more content every single day and i'll see you in the next video